Well, it's a pretty hot ticket. Members of Congress teaming up with former NFL players to take on the U.S. Capitol Police. And it's all for a good cause. Now, the game is not until next week, September 24th. But this morning, we're going to check in on practice, find out a little bit more about who this is all benefiting. And joining us now, team captains, Congressman Rodney Davis from Illinois, Congressman Jimmy Panetta from California. Great to see both of you this morning. Thanks for joining us. So here, here's my question, first of all, and I want to get into the game itself. But to be the captain of the team, uh, oh, my goodness, are you all right? You're taking a hit from Ken Harvey back there. Uh, That's why Ken Harvey plays defense. That's why he plays deep. They can't throw. Okay. Ken's already denying responsibility. Uh, how do you become captain of this team? I mean, do we have a, a, a player pro tem here? Do we have a, a, a vote in Congress? Uh, how did you guys elevate yourselves to these positions? You know what? What happened was we lost our last two captains, and uh, we've been, you know, part of the team before. So they gave us a chance to come up and and really help for a good cause. I mean, please, if you want to find out more about this this team and this game, go to congressionalfootball.org. You see the great charities we've raised over three hundred thousand dollars for. But you know what, Jimmy and I, we wanted to do it because we're good friends exactly. and this is good fun. All right, yeah, so Steve, it really brings us together. Democrats and Republicans are actually, you know, we get along in the Capitol, we get along on the football field, especially for something like this. It brings brings together a lot of uh, good donations for a lot of good organizations that help a lot of local people right here in Washington, D.C. I want to touch on that spirit in just a second, but Jimmy, seriously, are you okay? I mean, you just took a shot there. <laughs> hey, you see this nose? This nose, is, this nose has been through a lot worse than a couple of footballs, let me tell you. All right, I'm well, Italian. I can handle it. Well, hopefully you don't take too many... not just the nose. <laughs> hopefully you don't take too many shots on the field, except the shots you're giving each other right now uh, in jest. Um, but look, you guys, you're playing the game. You're out there giving your all. You're practicing. Uh, how, how are you guys holding up? Because, I mean, look, let's be honest, between the three of us, none of us are in our 20s anymore. So, you know, the physical uh, attributes get a little tougher year after year. You guys doing okay? Well, funny, funny you asked that. Well, just yesterday we had one of our colleagues tear his ACL. So it's real. I mean, these guys are out here. We're practicing like we think we're in our 20s, and clearly we're not. Uh, but you know what? It's good fun. And I really wanted to give a shout out to our colleague Rick Crawford, uh, who got injured yesterday. We miss you, buddy. Uh, yeah. We wish you were back. But good luck with surgery. Yeah, definitely. Rick's a guy that really wants to be out here. We know he does, but he's hearing it with his heart and soul. Uh, but you got to understand, it, yeah, it isn't easy, uh, especially for guys our age. But it's fun. We enjoy being out here, and we enjoy the camaraderie, and we enjoy what we're doing for a good cause. Well, I, you know, I want to ask you about that before we go, and, and we'll get more details on the game, of course, to our viewers in a minute. Um, but you mentioned, I mean, Congressman uh, Panetta, you talked about that spirit of togetherness. Uh, here we're looking at guys from both sides of the aisle. You're coming together on the football field. Do events like this help in the bigger picture when you get yourself, you know, out of the halls of Congress and maybe in a different environment to work together better? Does that help at all? You bet, hands down. There's no doubt about it in the sense that basically, you know, it, it takes work. Nowadays, we're tied to our cell phones. We're tied to social media. It's a it's a 24-hour news cycle. The fact it takes work to get out here early in the morning and come together, it takes work. I went to Rodney's district. Rodney's been out to my district. It takes that extra effort because we know that this is a job that's really about relationships. It's about trust. These types of events help build that trust and I believe help get us things, get things done in Congress. Congressman Davis, you agree with that? And, and uh, just to take it a little step further, uh, can we take anything from the football field now and take it back into the halls of Congress to help out uh, to maybe get some, uh, some more work uh, agreed upon there? You know, a lot of what we do in Congress is done on a bipartisan basis, but it really doesn't get as much attention. Uh, this is ga a game like this and, and camaraderie like this allows us to develop relationships, just like Jimmy and I got to know each other in his early, uh, early first term. But this really matters because we're helping local D.C. charities at the same time, building relationships, building bipartisanship. And I wanted to give a special thanks to our opponents, the Capitol Police. Those are the guys that selflessly protect all of us here around the Capitol Complex. And I can tell you, uh, we got Matt Micah here who survived a baseball shooting. Uh, those of us who were on the field that day owe a debt of gratitude to the Capitol Police. But that debt of gratitude, it, it is, we're going to show no mercy on the field <laughs> come Tuesday night. Yeah. As yeah. it should be, yeah, uh, Matt's been in front that. of our show as well. Uh, real quick before I let you go, which positions are you guys playing? Uh, linebacker. Safety and linebacker. All right, fantastic. Uh, best wishes. I hope nobody else gets hurt. Keep doing it for a great cause out there, gentlemen, and thank you so very much for joining us this morning.